Hi, this is Lori Rulin. I'm an Adobe InDesign and Illustrator Certified Instructor. Today I'm going to be showing you some different ways that you can get your text selected within InDesign. Now I know you're already thinking, I already know how to select text, I just click and drag. But I think there's a couple other shortcuts that are really worth knowing. So the first thing I want to show is that you can just take your cursor as long as you're on your T tool and you can just click inside of your text. And this is just going to put in an insertion point. That's one single click. The next thing is a double click. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer so we can see this and just double click right on top of one of these words. Now when I double click, you'll notice that the whole word is selected, but the two spaces on either side of the word are not. And the reason for this is if I would hit delete, the word would go away, but I really don't want to be left with two spaces right next to each other. So InDesign intuitively will remove one of those spaces so you, that you're only left with one. The other way that we can select is by using three clicks, one, two, three. This is going to select a line of copy, not a paragraph. Now we can use four clicks, one, two, three, four clicks. That's going to select an entire paragraph. And now a paragraph is between these two hard returns. So suburban walk is actually a paragraph. So I can do three clicks because it's a line, or I can do four clicks because it's a paragraph. All right, the last way is five clicks. I'm going to come back down here to fit in window and do one, two, three, four, five clicks. And this is going to be like a select all. Edit menu, select all, command or control A, or five clicks is going to do the exact same thing. Select all your text within a story. All right, so now let's use some shortcuts with our keyboard. I'm going to put my cursor right in the middle of this paragraph and zoom in just a little bit. If I hit my up arrow key or down arrow key, I'm just moving my cursor. But if I add in the shift key, the shift key and then the right arrow key or the left arrow key is going to select the text as the cursor is moving across those letters. And it's going to select it letter by letter. I can also use the up or down arrow keys. I'm going to start here in the middle again, hold the shift key and then the down arrow key. Each time I hit that down arrow key, it is selecting a line at a time. Now I'm going to expand this selection by holding down both shift and command. By holding shift and command and then the arrow down key, I will get the rest of that entire paragraph selected. If I continue to hold the shift and the command and hit the down arrow key again, I'll get the next paragraph and the next paragraph and the next. So a lot of times if I know that I need specific paragraphs selected, I'll use shift command and then the down arrow key to get those paragraphs selected. Now I can use that same trick by adding in the command key to get words selected. I'm going to hold down my shift key and my command key and use the arrow keys. And this is going to select word by word. Now I'll use the down arrow key to select paragraph by paragraph. So shift and an arrow key is going to select either the letters or the lines. Shift command or control for windows, shift command and the arrow keys is going to select either a word right or left, or a paragraph when you hit up and down. So the last trick I want to show you here is how you can select your text from where your cursor is blinking within your story. So let's say that I wanted to select from this good greeting all the way to the end of my story. By placing my cursor in front of the G and holding down command and shift or control shift, and then hitting the end key on my keyboard, I'm going to select from where my cursor is to the very end of the story. I'll do that again with the other shortcut, which is the home key. I'll hold shift and command and hit the home key. And that is going to select from where my cursor is blinking all the way to the beginning of my story. So that's it with selecting some text. I hope you've learned a couple new shortcuts today.